Will that new guidance on mask wearing and social distancing salvage any summer festivals that were scaling back in Fort Wayne? Yeah, important question here in town. The changes, though, may come a little too late to make a big difference in some mm -hmm. of those cases. Uh, Jeff Newmeyer is live tonight from Headwaters Park with more on that. Jeff. Yeah, Brian, uh, uh, Krista, we, we could tell you this is what we do know, that there will be more festivals and gatherings happening here at the Lincoln Financial Pavilion at Headwaters Park compared to last as uh, the COVID-19 situation is certainly more settled now. It was a surprise last week when the CDC said if you're fully vaccinated, you really no longer need to wear a mask indoors or out, and it doesn't matter how close you are to others. COVID-19 certainly not gone, but the spread of the virus is down along with serious illness and death. The new CDC directives came too late to save the traditional German fest. In April, it was announced that the in-person celebration was off this year and that you could go to the German Fest website and order meals for pickup at the Fort Wayne Sport Club and at Ivy Tech on the north side. Organizers are adding back in their 5K run on Saturday, June 12th. I'm told they're still dealing with disruptions in the food supply chains that they rely on to run that festival. Greek Fest is now promoting on social media. It will not be meeting at Headwaters Park either, choosing instead to serve up carry-out meals at Holy Trinity Church on Wallen Road from June 24th through the 26th. Ribfest is still on the calendar for Headwaters from June 16th through the 19th. Those in charge of that festival admit making these decisions right now is complicated and stress-inducing. It's always a risk. We did it last year, and quite frankly, it was, uh, it was a mistake. I mean, people were very leery, and they should have been. And, you know, the tr numbers trended down a little bit, but now the way the numbers are looking, I think we've made a bet to uh, help get Fort Wayne back to some normalcy. Uh, we hope that some that are still maybe out there and still deciding that are later in the season, you know, later in August, uh, September, even early October, uh, might uh, consider to move forward. The comfort level would be higher. Now, we reached out to officials with the Three Rivers Festival, the headline attraction on Fort Wayne's summer calendar, about their plans this year. So far, no response. The parade was canceled earlier, but right now we believe the nine-day celebration is mostly a go. We also could tell you that the wildly popular Johnny Appleseed Festival is still scheduled for September 18 and 19. Uh, Brian and Krista, if the new CDC mask wearing and social distancing directives had come out uh, back in April, let's say, we might uh, be looking at a different summer festival lineup. But uh, really, there's no way to know for sure. Back to you. Yeah, things changing constantly. Uh, Got to pay attention to that. Hopefully, though, people will get out there. The numbers will stay low. People can have some fun this summer. Jeff, thank you.